What's up everybody and welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a before and after wipe effect in Premiere Pro. If you are new to the channel please consider subscribing, I got a lot of tutorials coming up so hit that bell. So I got two clips on the timeline right here. One clip that is uh, not color graded and the second clip I have color graded in Lumetri color panel. So I really want to show off the differences between the two clips and create a wipe transition. First thing we'll need to do is to drag this uh, clip right here on top of the original clip and also drag this a little bit back so we have some room for the transition. So right now we can see the old clip and the new clip but we don't have the wipe yet so we're going to go to window and click on the effects controls panel and uh, when you get this box up here you just search for wipe in the wipe folder we can find this wipe effect and i'm just going to drag this to the start of the top clip on the timeline here like that and uh, now we have this little wipe transition you can also drag this wipe transition to get faster or slower so if i want it to get slower i just drag it this way and the wipe will be really slow you can also drag it the other way to get it faster like that and if we click on the wipe effect and go to effect controls you will have this little panel right here a and b a is the clip on the video track 1 and B is on video track 2. Really simple to remember. But what if I want the uh, wipe to go another direction? We got a little control box right here. And if I want to go from top to bottom, I can just uh, click on the arrow right there and I will have a transition going down like that. Or we can uh, drag it from a corner so if i want to have the southwest to northeast you can have a little transition just like that other things you can do to customize the wipe as well is to use the border so let's say if i want a 20 border and uh, as you can see it is black right now but you can also choose the color right here so if i for example want a yellowish line lime green line i can have it li just like that so that makes it a little bit more customizable so i hope you learned something new remember to create and inspire i'll see you in the next video